radical feminist theologian Mary Daly died on January 3rd at the age of 81. She was one of the most influential voices of the radical feminist movement of the latter 20th century. She wrote, women operating on patriarchy's boundaries can spiral into freedom by renaming and reclaiming an ancient women-centered reality that was stolen and eradicated by patriarchy. As for God, she said, if you must be anthropomorphic, she preferred goddess. She was an uncompromising radical feminist whose voice needs to be remembered. This is Mary Daly in 1987 reading from her book, Webster's First Intergalactic Wikidary of the English Language. This audio was provided by Pacifica Archives. I was thinking of how we have become autoallergic. In the state of possession, the victim of psychic and physical invaders becomes autoallergic, reacting against the body's own tissues, the spirit's own process, pathologically reacting against her own endogenous powers of resistance to invasion. She sides with her invaders, her possessors. Her false self possesses her genuine self. Her false self blends with the possessor who sedates his beloved prey. She turns against her sisters, who themselves invaded and carried into the state of possession, turn against herself and against their selves. The divided ones, the self-selves, shelve or sell their selves, suffocating their own process. They become iron masks, choking their own becoming, hiding their own knowing, substituting deception for knowing. So deep is the disease of autoallergy induced in women by the sedative seduction of the little sir sirens of siredom, that women try to kill not only their selves but their sister selves, even in the name of sisterhood. Under the appearance of bonding, there is binding. The mothers bind the feet and minds of daughters. The daughter is turned against the mother. The pseudo sister is the resister of her sister, standing against her. As her resister, she is her reversed imitation, a mirror image, her lifelike reproduction. She covers and recovers the sister until she can no longer find herself, having forgotten to search for herself. Trapped into re-searching, she finds only the re-sister. In order truly to search for the sister, it is necessary to see the dismembered sister within, the sister self, and to remember her, coming into touch with the original intuition of integrity. Was my, once mindful of the sister, the self need no longer resist her. Her mind is full of her. She is her. She is herself. Remembering is the remedy. The reign of healing is within the self, within the self, seen by the self, and seeing the self. The remedy is not to turn back, but to become in a healing environment, the self, and to become the healing environment. In this space, the self is not religious, not tied back by old ligatures, old allegiances. She pledges allegiance to no flag, no cross. She sees through the lies of alleged allies. She reveres no one, for she is freeing herself from fears. This space, the self's holy environment, is the opposite of the recovery rooms of the unnatural physicians of soul and body. It is discovery room. Now, all of this of course, takes place in bonding with each other. It is in our network, our spinning network, that it happens. It is not really in solitude, although the self, who is a self, has to be alone. A couple of definitions of wild, anyway. Wild means living in a state of nature, inhabiting in natural haunts, not tamed or domesticated, being one of a kind, not ordinarily subjected to domestication. If you look at the dictionary, you'll find meanings of wild that you just have to hear with your own ears. It means not living near or associated with man. It means not inhabited or cultivated. It means not subjected to restraint or regulation, uncontrolled, inordinate, ungoverned. Wild means unruly, ungovernable, reckless. All of this is in Merriam-Webster. It means exceeding normal or conventional bounds in thought, design, conception, execution, or nature, extravagant, fantastic, visionary. It means not yielding to governmental authority, savage, intractable, rebellious, deviating from a natural course, goal, or practice, acting, appearing, being manifested in an unexpected, undesired, unpredictable manner, random, erratic. It means not accounted for by any known theories. Later this month, we will have a tribute to Mary Daly and her work.